Hollywood actors decided to go on strike this week. They joined the Writers Guild of America who have been on strike since May and they're asking studios for better wages, benefits and to implement steps to avoid being replaced by AI. Will Loper is a film creator and critic in the Madison area. Have you also seen him here on News 3 <laughs> with the Loper Report and joins us now to break it down. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. So first thing I want to ask you is about this writer's strike. How significant is it really to have the actors and writers both on strike at the same time? Oh, it's incredibly significant. And I mean, this has only happened one other time in history to have both unions striking at the same time. And it was already significant that there was going to be no new productions written, no new scripts written. But with the actors now joining, productions can't continue at all. And when was the last time this happened? This happened last in 1960 when Ronald Reagan was president of the SAG Union. And at that time, the issue was over residuals. Uh, t television was becoming part of uh, the American forefront, and movies were getting shown over and over on television. And people who had worked on films that were being shown over and over wanted uh, residuals. And today, we're seeing kind of that same fight with streamers. Um, those who work on film and television, they want uh, residuals when they're work it's shown on streaming services. And the writers, they've been on strike since May, but now with the actors on strike, they're out of the picture now. What does this really actually mean? Well, you know, studios were able to continue with productions that already had their scripts completed. Um, but with the actors now out of the picture, even those films, just they needed to shut down completely. So we're seeing movies like Deadpool 3. They were still filming. That's done. There was the live action Lilo and Stitch, uh, Gladiator 2, and Beetlejuice 2. Yeah, let's throw up that graphic. These are just some of the films. You know, their scripts were finished, and they were like, hey, we can still just complete them, but at this point, nope, it's they're, they're halted. They're not being filmed anymore. Another question I have, you know, really who loses out the most from this? Is it the viewers or is it the companies that aren't getting their money now? It's definitely a combination. I mean, it, it, viewers won't see anything for a little while, but eventually we're not going to see their favorite shows return and uh, there's going to be a lot of reality television, game shows, but eventually, you know, maybe they'll cancel their subscriptions and it, it will be the streamers that hurt. But they do have a stockpile, so we'll just see what happens. We have a little bit of time left. There is good news. Independent films like your own are still going on. Uh, just kind of tell us about what's going on. You have one that's going to be showing in Stoughton in August, right? Yep, August 4th, Friday. You can come to Stoughton at Merchant Cidery. It's just a silly little adventure movie we made. It was made part of the Wisconsin 48-hour film project, and it uh, somehow it won that. But, you know, you can check out my YouTube channel, Loper Productions, and make a lot of uh, funny movies there. So. <laughs>